In this step, we're going to show how to bind the same, to do the same we did with the collection, but with an object, with specific object by ID. So, we're going to do it on the party details controller. So, let's go to our controller. And the first thing we need to do, we have the party ID here. So, we need to bind it to our scope party. So the first thing is to add the media service into here as well. Then we call media dot object. The object we pass the collection that we want to bind that we the object is part of, which is part is like before. But on the second parameter we're uh, passing the ID, which is what we had before already. Now we want to uh, change, uh, we want to be able to change that object. So let's go into our party details and this time we'll be able to see the details of the party and now let's place inputs and bind the ng model to our party, let's say this input will be for the party's name and another one for the party description. description. Okay, so that's basically it. So let's restart our server. Let's go here and let's see if we're going here inside. Refresh just a second. Now, if we go here inside and we want to change that to a changed name, we'll go back home and we see it change. Let's look at it from two clients. And let's say if I want to change this name, so I can just start removing it, and you see it's immediately changing. And then I can write this is the new name. So that's everything you need to do now. But let's say you have a form. This is a form you want to have like a simple save and receipt buttons. So let's go back and first thing, let's add like a button. So let's add one button. then another button for receipt the form and one button for cancelling now let's bind it with ng click like we did before this will be a save function ng -click. this will be a receipt function and the cancel button We'll just go back, so let's uh, add a, an A here that will just go back to parties. Okay, so now let's go to our controller. Now we don't want to auto bind it anymore, so like we did before with the collection, we can send here on the third parameter false, which means that right now every change that will happen from Meteor will auto-update into Angular, but not the other way around. We will have to explicitly update, uh, call an update methods on the Angular side to update Meteor. So let's do that, let's add those functions. So we have one function that is called save, so stop.save equals a function. And that function is just going to call scope party dot save because party now is is a angular meteor object and angular meteor object has a function called save now if we want to do the same but with receipt so let's call our function we have also a helper method on Angular Meteor object that's called receipt. So we can do scope party dot 
we see that what will happen then that this function will just update the party from the database. So it will receive what actually exists right now in the database. So every change, any change we did will just, uh, will just be reflected now. Another thing that is important about those functions is that function is that they return a promise. So once they're finished, we'll have a promise that said that everything was okay, or if there was an error. So let's add the promise. So let's do then. And then if there was it was successful, it will call the first function with the, num the number of docs change. And so let's just like write console.log. Um, write success or something and print the number and if there was a problem it will call that function with an error and in that case we will print console log error with our error and variable that we got so now that we have those let's go to our app and let's refresh. So first of all, let's just start changing the description of that party. So I'm deleting and you see that nothing happens on the other side. Uh, because That's because it's not auto-binded. So let's write the new new name, new new description. And when we click save, then it saves. So now let's let's try to reset. So let's remove that. Click reset form, and it was reseted back from the database. So those are the two cases that you can do to um, uh, to save and remove uh, forms and specific objects. Uh, you can do auto binding, or you can just use the uh, the functions that uh, we provide. And cancel will take you back to home.